All right, so we have the following circuit here. We have to find IO uh, using the superposition theorem. So we're going to turn off this current source here. We also can't turn off this uh, source because it's a dependent source. So dependent sources, you cannot turn them off. So we're going to start by turning off our current source. So it'll be an open wire. So this one will be 20 volts. This one will be one amp. This one will this is one ohm. This one will be five ohms. Four, two, and three. And I O is moving in this direction. So we'll write a mesh. So this one will be I1, and this one will be I2. So let's write an equation to represent mesh I1. So it's minus 20 plus five I1 plus I1 minus I2, so it will just be like that, plus 5IO plus 4I1. IO will be equal to a negative I1 because they're, they're both moving in different directions. So it will be minus 20 plus 5I1 plus I1 minus I2 minus 5I1 plus 4I1. This and this cancels out. So now we have uh, 5i1 because we're adding this one and this one up minus i2 minus 20. All right, so that's our first equation done. So now for uh, mesh i2, it's 2i2 minus 5io. And we call IO is minus 1, so it'll be plus 5 I1. All right, so 2, yeah, okay. Plus I2 minus I1, and obviously we don't have to include the brackets. Plus 3 I2. Let's collect like, like terms. So this one, this one, it gives you uh, 4 I1. So this, 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 that's uh, 6 I2. So 4i1 equals minus 6i2. So 4 over 4 over 6 minus 4 over 6 i1 equals i2. Let's plug it into this equation. So it's 5i1 minus minus 4 over 6 i1 minus 20. So this one turns into 5i1 plus 2 over 3 i1. And let's bring the 20 to the other side. So 5 plus 2 over 3. That gives you 5.667i1 equals 20. Divide both sides by that. We get 3.529. And recall, IO is equal to negative I1. So IO is equal to 3.529. But this is not this IO value because we're not taking into account this uh, current source. So we have to do, what we have to do now is turn off this one and turn this one back on and then resolve for IO for that one. So let's call this one IO uh, prime. Now let me erase all of this. We're gonna redo this whole circuit again. But this time we're turning off this. It's, uh, so when you turn off a voltage source, it's a closed wire. And let's turn back on our current source. All right. So now let's add another mesh. Let's call this one I3. And I3 will be equal to 4 amps because they're both moving in the same direction. Now let's rewrite the equation for mesh I1. So it will be 4 I1 plus 5. I1 minus I3 and I3 is 4 plus I1 minus I2 plus 5IO. And we have to find an equation to represent IO. We see IO will be equal to I3 minus I1 because I3 is moving the same direction as IO and I1 is moving the opposite direction. So it will be 
I3 minus I1. Now let's uh, you know foil everything out. Oh yeah, sorry, I3 is supposed to be, uh, what was I3 again? 4, yeah, sorry. So I was equal to 4 minus I1. So this one will be 20 minus 5 I1. This and this cancels out. Let's see what else. This and this cancels out. So it's 5 I1 and we minus I2 equals 0. All right, and so it'll just be 5 I1 equals I2. Now let's write an equation for mesh I2. So we see uh, 2 I2 minus 5 IO, and we call IO as 4 minus I1 uh, plus I2 minus I1 plus uh, 3 I2 minus 4. And then let's follow this, this all out. So we have 2i2 minus 20 minus, oh sorry, plus 5i1 plus i2 minus i1 plus 3i2 minus 12. So let's collect like terms. So we have 5i1, then we have 2i2, uh, oh sorry, 4i1 because this and this. Then we have this, this, and this. So 2 plus 1 plus 3, that's 6i2. Then we have this and this. So minus 20, minus 12. So it's minus 32. So let me double check everything quickly. So the... All right. All right. Now, we know that i2 is equal to 5i1. All right, now let's solve for i. I so now let's solve for i one. Thirty two divided by thirty four, that gives you zero point nine four one one seven six. So now we can find i o. I o will be four minus zero point nine four one one seven six. And that gives you 3.0588. All right. And this is I double. Oh, wait, hold on. Sorry. This one I forgot to include the negative because re remember uh, IO is equal to negative I1. So, yeah. Oh, so, or I prime is equal to negative I1. You get the gist. So, okay. So, I O double prime, that's equal to 3.0588. Now we can solve for our actual IO. I, I O prime plus I O double prime. So it's minus 3.529 plus 3.0588. And we get minus 0 0.4702 amps. This is our final answer.